Hey everybody, this is Mick with Weholly Bushcraft. I'm in a uh, kind of a controlled environment this time and uh, it's rainy outside. I still wanted to do a video. So I was pondering what kind of topic might be suitable indoors that I could do a video on. And um, I was at the grocery store thinking about this and I remembered I taught uh, some of my Boy Scouts how to make butter. And I thought that's that was that was such an easy thing to do, and they enjoyed it so much that maybe if I put it out there on in, on the internet, other people would would see how easy it is and enjoy it too. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to make butter. It's going to be exciting. So stay with me. Okay, we're going to make butter. So how do you make butter? Well, you start with milk. And not just any old milk. What what I'm able to get here in the civilized South is ultra pasteurized heavy cream. Now the heavy cream is very important because regular cream or regular whipping cream or half and half doesn't have enough of the milk fat solids in it that will turn into butter after you agitate it or churn it. So you want to start out with something that on the ingredients list says heavy cream and that's about it. If you see heavy cream and skim milk don't use it. You can turn it into whipped cream and that's what this is really for is whipping cream but I'm going to turn it into butter and I'll show you how. Alright the next ingredient that you need is some sort of a container. I used a regular uh, ball jar with a sealing lid on it. You don't have to do that. You can take an old jelly jar, clean it out, you can make butter in it too. This will be a little easier I think to see the process as the churning action happens the butter is going to start emerging from the, the liquid. It's kind of a cool process. Again the Boy Scouts loved it so hopefully you'll like it too. I just got done cleaning this out, so hopefully I will not get any sort of Ebola, E. coli, anything like that. All right, here we go. Pour the heavy cream into the container. Okay. Lid is on. Now the very exciting part begins where you just walk around talk on the phone, you know, just do this sort of action over and over again. And I've seen people really, really, really shake it. I've done it both ways and, and you really can't just keep up this heavy action all the time. So eventually you're just going to kind of, you know, vary it, move it around, do this. And what I'll do is I will not bore you with the entire process of uh, of watching me do this, but I will come back to this and show you as it starts to turn into butter. It's very cool. So the, the story behind this is kind of funny. Uh, we were doing a wilderness survival camp out and I'm the wilderness and survival merit badge instructor. And um, one of the things that we do on Wilderness Survival, it, it's not, you know, here's a knife and a, a, a rock and good luck. What we do is we build the shelters and we sleep in shelters. Um, we, we do a lot of things that I, I try to get the guys um, out of their comfort zone a little bit. And the, the lessons that these guys learn by doing, and not by just reading a book or watching a YouTube video, the lessons that they learned uh, they, they'll never forget. The one guy that I taught how to make butter, the reason I say one guy is the other guys were off doing something and he had to stay around and tend to the fire and I wanted to give him something to do special. And so I told him how to make butter, which is what we're doing here. 
he thought I was playing a prank on him. He thought I was just he, he was just going to be walking around shaking the jar looking like a fool. But I convinced him, no, I wouldn't do that to you. Sure enough, when it turned into butter, he was just amazed. He was, he was, do you, are there other things that you know? And I had, that's kind of a joke. The, the guy's really smart. He's an Eagle Scout now. He's a, he's a young adult and a uh, fantastic young man. <laughs> but when he came to me and said, are there other things that you know? It was the funniest thing. And I said, yes, there are. <laughs> I read an interesting article about, um, people with minimal skills or no skills or um, no real credentials out on the internet trying to teach people things like what we're doing here with bushcraft. Um, and I realize you guys don't know much about me and I'm not going to give my whole biography out here on the internet. Um, what, what my goal is here at uh, Wehali Bushcraft is really to sort of help beginners get started, help people who see these things on the internet or that see people uh, see things on TV and think that they want to try it. Um, you guys that have been doing this for as long as I have, 30, 40 years, it's really hard to learn something new out on the internet. You're seeing the same stuff over and over again. Um, even this video here, I, I, there are other ones on the internet, on YouTube, about how to make butter. Um, so what I've decided that I would do is I'm not going to try to be the king bushcrafter of all time because I'm not. There are other people out there that are, that are always going to be better than me because they've devoted their profession to it. This to me is a, is a, is a scoutmaster level, intro level kind of thing. So what I would like to do is take people who might see something on TV that's a little silly, but they don't know it's silly. They go out there. They try to do it and they get hurt. Or it doesn't work out for them and so they just kind of abandon the whole thing. What I would like to do is be able to have that same person who is enthusiastic but unskilled come to somebody like me or some of the guys that, that teach for a living and get that experience. It's a positive experience. They've had some successes and uh, they don't get hurt. So what I'm entirely content to do is to take beginners out on an experience and have them learn in a way that they will never be able to learn by watching this video. That's it. We will pump you up. I'm just enjoying life. I hope you are too. This is starting to sound a little funny, so stay with me here. This may be turning into something. Okay, I'm done. I've been shaking this thing and shaking this thing and shaking this thing, and it has finally coagulated into some butter. The liquid here is buttermilk, and here is the butter. And what it ended up having to do was I was shaking it and shaking it and shaking it, and it sort of quit shaking and and I thought it was whipped cream and I thought oh no I've, I've messed up but you have to keep going past that stage keep going past the the foamy sort of whipped cream stage and just keep on shaking it and it'll eventually you hear it now it'll make a different sound and I have made butter Here's the lid. Here's a look inside. See the, the bit of butter? Yep. It has become butter. It's like a miracle. It, and it's a totally fresh, different tasting kind of butter than you're probably used to. It has no salt in it. Or anything, so we have uh, we have all learned something here, including myself. I almost gave up too soon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to strain off the liquid. The liquid can be used for another purpose, and keep the butter 
for my fresh use at home. So. This is Mick with Wehali Bushcraft. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I know I learned something, so I hope you did too. Bye.